Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for September 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very, very nice to meet you. My name is Eric. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? All right, so no long intros here. I just wanted to say thank you so much for being so patient with me as I get these monthly readings out because shit has been real, right? All right, Gemini, let's look into what your pre-shuffle has for you right now. Uh, you have the Devil with the Knight of Cups. And the Devil has come out for the last two readings before yours, which would be Aries and Taurus, at least, um, which is interesting. But for you, Gemini, what I feel like is happening here for you is you're moving forward somehow with a heart's desire, regardless of what that means in the external circumstances, or maybe regardless of what people may have to say about it, or maybe regardless of what your fears or your egos may have to say about it. I just feel like you're moving along regardless here, Devil and the Knight of Cups. Then you have the Magician at the bottom of the deck uh, with the Eight of Swords underneath that. Aha, and then Death. Ooh, look at that. And then Victory with the Six of Wands and then Temperance here. All right, so um, there's gonna be a, you're gonna be victorious here. I think there's a major change that's happening for you. I feel like you may be working on breaking yourself out of some sort of mental prison or working on moving forward regardless of whatever confinement you may find in front of you. Quite frankly, the, ace, the, 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 the confinement that the Eight of Swords represents here for you, I feel like these are things that are imposed upon you by other people. And thus we have the devil. Like the devil is like a type of energy right now for you in saying, no, you can't do that. You'll never be successful there. What, who, do, who, do, who does he or she think they are thinking that they can move forward in this way just because their heart tells them so? But quite frankly, Gemini, that's really how this works. Your ego is not supposed to be the one that drives the ship. On the contrary, it's your heart. And yes, your ego can step in and say, uh, I don't know if this is safe or uh, danger, danger. Like, okay, that's great. That's what the ego is meant for. But the ego is not meant to choose for you. And I feel like you are coming out of a place, Gemini, where the egos of other people have been allowed to choose for you in the past. And you're not having that any longer. Like, Gemini, I really feel like you're breaking yourself out of here. And quite frankly, Gemini, this might be one of the greatest victories of your life because you finally found some sense of balance and harmony and union within yourself. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't going to be some unknowns here on your path, the moon with the three of wands, but quite frankly, if you stay balanced and harmonious within yourself, the chariot and the two of wands, ultimate, wow, ultimately some sort of tower is going to fall and you're gonna find victory in and of yourself. This really just feels Gemini, this feels like a personal victory. It may not be something that you can really parade around town. It may not even be anything that you may want to parade around town. Quite frankly, it may not be something that you're really looking for the masses to be aware of. And that's quite all right. Regardless of what this is for you, I feel like this is more a personal victory than it is a public victory. And that's really all you need. Especially in terms of, like, I feel like some of you might be either in an energy now or used to be in an energy of, I'll show y'all. Like you would do something, you would work towards something just to prove someone else wrong. And okay, I understand that. But ultimately, I don't think you're doing that any longer. Yeah, three of swords in reverse. I, I, you're not heartbroken about this any longer. Um, and at this point, I think you're moving forward for your own self, for your own victory, or you're going to find out that this whatever victory this is for you, it's really not supposed to be public knowledge. It's really not supposed to be for anyone else. And if anyone else gets anything out of this victory that you achieved for yourself, it's because you're leading by example or you're taking what it is that you learned and you're putting it into practice and now showing these people a different side of you or a different side of reality that they were not allowing themselves to connect to with that devil energy, right? This is good, Gemini. I like this a lot. All right, so let's get into this and see what the rest of what we have for you is. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our month of September, 2020.
Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. For my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of September 2020. Three. Uh oh, I lost the count again, you guys. That's all right. This is four for my Geminis. And this is five. Or maybe that was six. I don't know. Doesn't matter. You got an extra shuffle if so. <laughs> Either way, we're ready to go. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Gemini. We have the Hermit. Yeah, this is a time of deep introspection, but quite frankly, Gemini, especially with the readings that we've, what we've been talking about in your readings over the last few months, I feel like you finally took this chance to look within and find your own sense of self, your own inner being, your own sense of identity, which is allowing you to break free or cut these devilish ties. Yep, underneath the, the, um, the Hermit is the Six of Pentacles. Underneath the Six of Pentacles is the Four of Cups, but then underneath the Four of Cups, you have the Knight of Wands. Um, okay, so the Six of Pentacles is talking about a current energy of, for you of reciprocity, but then coupled with the Four of Cups, I feel like this is kind of a past energy where the Four of Cups for you is where you used to be in an energy of not wanting to take responsibility, not wanting to own up, not even wanting to show up for yourself. And now that's changing. You've been activated somehow, Knight of Wands, and that's bringing some sort of close to a major situation for you with the world. And then finally, you have the Magician at the bottom of, the, of that again. So I feel like, Gemini, you've come to a place where you're really motivated and excited to start doing things for yourself, to start creating your own reality, to start creating your reality, your reality from your own sense of self and not who everyone else labels you to be or who everyone else wants you to be. I really do feel like with this Six of cup Pentacles here, you are really showing up for yourself at this point. All right, Gemini? Let me see, I wanna drop this down a little bit so you can see a little bit more. I mean, it cuts off my head, but at least you can see some of the table, right? Okay, that's better. All right, Gemini, let's get into the rest of this here. First set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading, you have... Aha, Gemini, you got the sun right off the bat, boo. That's awesome. The sun is definitely shining on you. There is a lot of illumination happening for you. It might be a little blinding to you at this point, but not so much as for the other people around. I feel like, I really feel like you're shining, you're glowing. I just heard you're doing the right thing in terms of what it is you need to do for yourself. And that's what makes you shine even more, Gemini. The sun is coupled with the Four of Swords. Okay, uh, the Four of Swords is saying to me, this, honestly, Gemini, I really want, congratulations to you, a round of applause for Gemini's here. Go ahead and, get, go ahead and get, give yourself a pat on the back because I feel like you really took the time, or maybe, maybe it's the fact that you are taking the time right now. However, when the Four of Swords came out, this felt like a past energy. But I feel like either you have or you are taking the time to rest, recuperate, and meditate and figure out who it is you truly are and what it is you truly want. And whether you've taken that time in the past or you're doing that now, that is exactly what is allowing the sun to shine from within you. Which is then, in turn, for, for many of you, I want to say, is causing other to be blinded by your light, blinded by your shine, and are kind of getting burned by their own aspects that need to be illuminated. Like the parts of them that need to be illuminated are now being burned away or being uh, shining are shining away just because of you and the glow that you have. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry. I needed to put my phone on, on uh, um, airplane mode so I didn't get distracted here. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, in the first half of your reading. You, wow, you have the Ten of Pentacles. This is a big completion. This is a big lesson learned. And what I'm feeling with the Ten of Pentacles for you, Gemini, is there is going to be a lot of success, both uh, financially or just publicly. There's going to be a lot of success. I'm feeling a lot of recognition coming through with this Ten of Pentacles. 
<clears throat> in terms of what it is you've overcome or what it is that you've achieved and also the lesson that has been learned and again it doesn't have to be necessarily that people are coming up to you saying good job good job no i think this is more of a recognition in terms of you showing up differently and that kind of making people kind of step back and be like whoa where did this come from like who is this person and then they start to get in it and start to get curious it's like okay well how did they get there because that's definitely not the gemini that i know them to be but also with that devil energy maybe it's just the fact that their own point of view was skewed of you that they didn't believe that this was possible and and thus this is how you're breaking free from those chains ten of pentacles is coupled with the seven of swords that's interesting But again, Gemini, this really just feels like a secret or, or uh, a, a hidden victory, a hidden completion. I kind of feel like, Gemini, y'all will be, some of you will be slipping out of some circumstances, and before you know it, or before they know it, people are going to turn around and be like, where the fuck did Gemini go? Like, when did they leave? And maybe it's a situation in which you were always so vocal, you were always such a big part of the circumstance and situation, and now all of a sudden, poof, you're gone and they don't understand why. But quite frankly, the reason why they don't understand why is because they don't have that clarity, that introspection enough to look at themselves and their own actions and how their point of view twisted their point of view of you. Make sense? Your challenge in the first half of your reading. The Nine of Cups. Okay, well with this, I kind of want to say don't get too smug. Uh, be careful not to celebrate too much. Be careful not to, yeah, get to a point where you're complacent now and you think, oh, I'm good. All my work is done. I don't need to worry about this no more, man. Let's just, let's just chug it down. Blah, 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 blah. Let me just like chill. And, nah, bro. Nah, sis. If you're in this energy now, yes, you have every right to feel happy with yourself. You may even have every right to enjoy yourself, okay? But the Nine of Cups is also kind of a warning here. Like, don't indulge too much. Okay, don't get too happy. Don't get, well, be happy, but like, don't get too complacent is what I want to say. Nine of Cups is coupled with, aha, death. So yes, in fact, Gemini, you're going through a transformation. Death has has come back out here for you. But, and we, 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 the whole universe knows, we all recognize you're going through a transformation. And quite frankly, you have every right to be proud of yourself, but don't, don't slip too hard. Like, just because you've reached this new level, blah, 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 whoop de whoop and all that shit, don't allow yourself to think that you can slip back into old habits and not get caught up anymore. You know what I mean? Just be careful with this process of transformation that you're going through, this transition. I just, I honestly, Gemini, I do feel a little bit of a smug energy kind of coming from you guys here in, in terms of like, yeah, I did it. I can do whatever the fuck I want. And then you go off and you and then you go a little too hard. And now all of a sudden you're kind of like having to do some damage control. Okay. Just be careful of that. But again, understand that you have every right to be proud of yourself for the transition that you're going through. Okay. Because you did that. You worked for that shit. All right. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Gemini, in the first half of your reading. You have the Six of Swords. There you go. And, and the Six of Swords is talking about moving from rough waters to a calmer waters, changing your, your reality. You could actually be moving physically. Um, but I feel like this is a solo journey. I don't feel like anyone else is coming with you. So maybe this is just another representation of your internal movement. Six of Swords is coupled with... Yeah, there you go. The Page of Wands. You're re-identifying yourself, Gemini. And this is also why I don't feel like anyone is really truly coming along for the ride with you. Like you may have some OGs, some family members and whatnot that might still stay, that are probably going to still stay connected with you and you'll be connected with them and whoop-de-whoop -whoop and all that stuff. But I really feel like <clears throat> you're moving to a new reality, a new state of being. And once you get to this next destination, you will be meeting or aligning with people that are much more beneficial to you is what I want to say. Okay. So there you have it. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to move over to part two, which is going to be on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. If you are not there yet, I highly recommend that you do so. There's a lot of great content there and there's still going to be more coming in the future. 
Also, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information is in the description box below, but you can go ahead and email me at Divine Conversations 2711 and I will get you all set up. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah, take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>